Did humans evolve in a straight line? This is one of the most frequently asked questions when it comes to human evolution. What do you think? Well, we did not. Human evolution, like evolution in other species, did not proceed in a straight line. Yet images abound that suggest otherwise. From museum displays to editorial cartoons, even in some of the images in our videos, evolution is depicted as a linear progression from primitive to advanced. Instead, a diversity of species diverged from common ancestors like branches on a bush. Evolutionary biology does not imply linear progression. Modern species do not morph into other modern species and evolution is not the outcome of several mystical force. Our species, Homo sapiens, is the only survivor, but there were many times in the past when several early human species lived at the same time. Modern evolutionary theory has three basic concepts. Modern species existing today have descended from pre-existing ancestral species. During this process, single evolutionary lineages have repeatedly split into multiple lineages and the primary force driving evolutionary change is a mechanism that Darwin labelled natural selection. For some that may have been having the wrong idea, evolutionary theory does not say that we evolved from chimps, rather it says that we share a common ancestor with chimps. The process of evolution leads to a branching pattern of relationships amongst organisms, not a linear progression. As the late evolutionary biologist Stephen J. Gould put, evolution is a bush, not a ladder. With that said, we need to understand that gradual change happens on timescales that vary from organism to organism based on the length of a generation. According to Darwin, all current organisms are equally evolved and are still affected by natural selection. Therefore, all present organisms are the most evolved of their kind. So, a starfish and a person, for example, are both at the forefront of the evolution of their particular building plants. The fossil record shows very clearly that there is no central line leading steadily in a goal-directed way from a protozoan to man. Instead, there has been continual and extremely intricate branching and whatever cause we follow through the branches, there are repeated changes both in the rate and in the direction of evolution where man is the end of one ultimate twig. It's true that most of the fossils we have are broken skulls or teeth sitting in or out of their respective jaws. But just occasionally, nature throws up a more complete skull or even nearly complete skeleton for us to find. Take Australopithecus sediba as an example. The fossil record is continually throwing up surprises for us when we look in places we've not looked before or sediments spanning previously neglected periods of time. That's the joy of evolutionary science, that just when we think we know it all, along comes another big surprise to force us out of old habits. To end this short video, I would like to say that the image of the bush of human evolution promoted back in the 1970s might not be very glamorous, but it is the perfect analogy on many levels. So hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you have any different views and opinions, we would love to hear them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and please do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.